Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Beer Station here, and this is going to be the very first episode of this new uh, anime. Come on, it's called Zombie Zombie One Zom One Hundred, uh, not Zombie Zom One Hundred. The Bucket List of the Dead. Now it's also called Zombie Ni Naru Mare Deshita Mata One Hundred No Koto. So basically. You got 100 things to list. Alright, so. Zombie apocalypse. So basically, you guys. Got a, just a Gregor Sideworker. He's got the best job in the world. Turns out they swindled him. They swindled him. He's living. He, he, everything's going bad for him. And all of a sudden, a zombie apocalypse hits. And all of a sudden, this is the thing he just thinks. Oh, I don't need to go to work anymore. Yay. That's literally what the, the prioritizing. So. And then he comes up, and then you have to think the way the title is. He comes up with a list of like what to do before he himself bites the dust. And this is a wild and wacky thing. So I am familiar with the manga. I actually, I actually decided to catch up on the recent two chapters that were on Viz. And I will I, I understand this. The anime, anime versus manga is a separation of sorts. But there is a correlation. Uh, I'm just gonna give my thoughts about it. like my my sense of the manga is mixed. But let, I want I do want to see what the anime has to present, anime adaptation has to present itself with before I make that judgment. So it's a new it's a it's a brand new studio that's doing this. Bug Films, hilariously befitting name to say the least. You know what? Let's go on to it. So let's get on to this one. I know it's a I because I live on the West Coast. I'm gonna get to these thing these episodes late. And of course, it's gonna be like two reactions in one day. I know I got the Mushoku Tensei later on in the same in the same day. I have to record this. So yeah, I don't want to break it up too. I want to get them out as the, the moment they're released or of like readily available in the. Readily available in the most, you know, reliable sub possible. So, well, well, we'll see how this goes. So, if, if it falls off, if or I'm just not really into it, then it will stop. But, but we'll check. We'll try this out. All right. So, and hopefully copyrights are fine. Like, I don't want to run into some random ass copyrights with this one. All right, let's get to it. Three, two, one, let's jam. Oh, this is how we start off? Oh, yeah, Last of Us. Fucking. Interesting. A mixture of CG and 2D in this, in these cases, huh? Ooh. Yeah, fucking prototype. Why does it sound a lot, why does it feel a lot like the Chainsaw Man with that music? Uh, a movie. Well, <sighs> what happened to you? Homie came. Homie came out from the Mappa Studio. Oh, uses. Oh, use uses the same smartphone as I do. Bro, did you? Are you even physically able to get sleep? I can at least get a few hours, but damn, you haven't let you slept for fucking weeks. Oh boy. Recap? What led up to this point? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I 
buddy, your lips. <laughs> why do I always gotta? Why do I gotta always make these sort of these, these sort of people just? Oh yeah, this is bad. <laughs> hey, we're, we're all good. We're gonna. <laughs> hey, welcome, newbie. Hope you have your good stay. It will be fun and all. Yeah, yeah. That's how they always do in it. That's how they usually get welcomed. But this is Japan we're talking about, and for better or worse, no, no offense to Japan, but it's just like how the work culture be. Is that even a work? Is that even a work? A work place there? Uh, it's a usual, your usual generic sort of tropes there. Yeah. Yeah, first day you want pussy for. <laughs> this way it sounds way this is like you just know some fuck shit gonna happen. I know those are references to some other some other things, but I can't put my. But I'm not. I'm not a Japanese name, so I, I have no idea. K Universe. Wait. No, it's not that. It's not Harvard. Obviously not. Harvard. Boy, is this dude played rug? How does how is rugby count gonna be able to help you in that workplace? Oh, baby. I mean, just always just, just so chipper in your first year, and but then like times goes past. I mean, it's not like he's gonna catch on that easily. Oh yeah, that's not even like just 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 call the day. It's just overtime. It's normal for them. And all night the first day. So they don't even get yet. Yeah, this is one of those days. Why did I bring up mom? But they don't even get to go home. You're about to see? What dinner? It's just going to be freaking Insta ramen. Oh, man. Bro, I'll just quit. Fuck that. It's like either that or just kill me already. One of those export. Well, ain't most. Ain't most Japanese quote. Ain't all Japanese business pretty manipulative. Exploitive, to be honest. That's not enough to even. So that fateful day. Nice. He's gonna try it. 
Try to psych yourself up. Yeah. Why well, are gonna have the smears for no? Just to emphasize it. They're literally sleeping underneath. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've seen it as a new. I've seen it as a new game as too, but it's not like depicted in such a grisly uh, way. Homie looked like. <laughs> Why do you look like the fucking a Attack on Titan character? Like, why does this look like? A show literally animated by Mappa. I hate how this is supposed to correlate. If I find out bug films associated with Mappa, I'm a flip. Boy. Yeah, health conscious. As you as you hork down a bunch of those, but. Most of those like instant coffee, man. Just bro, gets bro. It's probably so malny. Got malnutrition at this point. I like the scene transitions though. Not since last month. Wow. So just dump it. You're really hamming that up, hamming this up for him. Don't, don't. Don't. Uh, don't mistake it. Don't mis don't mistake that. Don't mistake kindness for love, please, please. Don't be like the me from tw Don't be like the me from fifteen years ago, please. Yep. I don't need to say it. I don't need to say it. And he has to hear that shit as he were. <laughs> oh, that was about to. Can you? Is he even allowed to quit? You don't want to cause trouble. Sadly true. But damn, they're hamming that up. Ow. Damn, well, he keeps the pole like it's like just someone he bummed into. Wow. So he has to just redo the whole thing right after he... Fucking went through that so much. That's an Aniplex. That's an Aniplex higher up. I'm totally not taking shots at the at the at the production committees. Yeah, I'm totally not. Wow, it's me snap. He's about to snap. But he can't do nothing. There ain't no show. There ain't no show to speed, right? Hmm. There's something about what he says. Because of already we got the notion of that will correlate to what happens. I, I don't, I don't want to throw an early assumption, but 
And this is just probably just coincidence, but. I mean, this isn't just in Japan, though, by the way. Japan does have one of the more, you know, well known, most problematic, well, well known and most problematic cases, but. I can, mo I can, I would not. I would not think of. Never mind. I'll, I'll hold that thought. And I just rip, and just day after day after day after day after day after day. I'll, again, I will, um, like, I do have some personal things I do want to have to address as an issue. And, like, in the end, you don't need to agree, necessarily agree with me, but at least respect why I feel that way. I'll try to explain as much as I can. I mean, I don't want to take too long, but because I still want to express more of my enjoyment parts in the end. Yeah. And I also like the color, like how it's just turning from, like, lack of color now, because just everything just looks so fucking bleak to him. Or just like a monotone. Monotone, muted down, just even filtering a film. Oh, and this is when he notices some shit happening. Oh! And it happens. Yeah. Oh boy, he 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 he's like he's still uh, kind of out of it, so he's just like he doesn't know how to react properly. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Damn the speed! <laughs> Ow! Yeah, you. Li Funny, cause I would. That's how it started out with him watching a zombie movie, <laughs> and now he's in the zombie. Okay, well he's a zombie TV, zombie Calculus TV series, but still, they, sm they smeared him up, man. <laughs> And pencil sketches all over. Ooh. Yeah, that plane's going that plane's going down. Oh shit, is the world ending? Is this is this two thousand is this two thousand twelve is two thousand twelve? I don't need to go to work anymore? Oh, nice. That's a good way of like expressing that sort of freedom. <laughs> wow. That's like so surreal right now. Oh. Oh, nice. He's a little... There's re color return to his eyes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait, why? I will. I am just gonna question why they're all like a bunch of rainbow colors. That just doesn't look natural. I guess it's just the style, though. It's fine. You gotta do was just all of a sudden like. After all that, just walking, he was just parkouring all over the place. 
So that rugby, so that rugby, <laughs> so that rugby experience, even whatever, however it may be, did actually help out. I guess. Or well, she's probably clapped. Probably not. I mean, the fun. It's kind of funny how like it took an apocalypse to make him feel like that. This after being three years of being like put down. I love their music too. <laughs> Damn, everything. Oh, was going into cut. Oh, was gone into fucking cut. She's probably. They probably already got her. pop up or something wow <laughs> what <laughs> Why are you still talking to stuff? Like, can he even, is even worth talking to him? Oh, <laughs> it still looks so epic, man. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. Oh, cool. I love this. I love the smears like that. And then, you know, the splash effects. So this is that this has been quite the artistic. Oh, she got... It's already done. It's over for her. Oh, yeah, I know it's like... The, the, the zombies are the ones with the different colors. It probably has to do with that infection. Yeah. Well, that sucks. We did I, I didn't even get to say I love you. <laughs> oh, he's trying to say it now. Wow. Well, at least she said, it, even though she's no longer there, she's no longer technically there anymore. Oh. Well, what, what next? Whole as whole as the city being overrun by zombies. 
Literally, yeah, that's not... Literally, just on a bunch of fucking zombie apocalypse shows that I that I've seen before, but I can't name off the bat. I'm pretty sure I'll, one will come up a little later on, but yeah. wait, is that a Japanese brand that we know? You die the next day or die sixty years from now? Yeah. True. And just make a bucket list. Oh yeah, by the way, you don't need to pay anymore, which is great. Just grab all the snacks you can. Oh, and yeah, this is bucket list. Hey, it's a, yeah, so it's a pretty fun uh, premiere. People are saying this is the best premiere in recent years. In terms of like this raw sort of, I would say it might be in terms, maybe in terms of raw animation, but it's not like something that, um, I'm not going to say it's like, uh, just groundbreaking something of the decade or anything. Cause of course we got to worry about, um, the rest, of the, sh the rest of the show, of course, will that hold up? I mean, I do like what I see compared to what I get in the manga. Nothing against the manga, I mean... I have to enjoy what I gotta enjoy, you know, until we gotta, gotta we have to sink in, like, you know, any issues I had with the manga later on, you know. Because this is, this feels like a, this feels like one of those series that where the appeal can peter out easily. If they don't keep, a, keep something rolling, if they just Stick with too much of a formula. Yeah. So yeah, fun premiere. I don't really know what else to say though. I mean, whole gist of it. You know, I'm just gonna show, search them some uh, the apocalypse movies here that I might recognize. Oh yeah, Dawn of the Dead. That, that, yeah, that was one. There was also fucking... Uh, there's a lot. I was... I will admit that I'm like... Some of those... Most... The, you know, live action zombie shows are not something I'm... Particularly interested in. But I'm recognize... But they feel recognizable. And it's not like I'm saying they're bad or anything. It's just that they're not they're not something I find fond of. I'm not fond of uh, that sort of thing. I feel like anime has it where I want it, but it feels like it's missing something in terms of the pure horror aspects. This one just seems like a little more fun, just like wild and wacky in a way. Where it's just like it's popcorn. It's I just. Hope it's not, it doesn't turn out as just popcorn entertainment. Like, cause if that, if that's what happens, then it can get boring. And that's the one I don't want. But I mean, I'll, I'll try to be more po I'll try to be positive. I'm not trying to just shit on anyone's parade here. Cause I do like what I see. The thing is, does, does it keep up? Now, the two, depending on, you know, some people were saying, so... I was I was straying away from spoilers, but some people were saying this is better than the Jutsu Kaisen premiere and the Ocean of Cold premiere. Now, uh, I don't know about that. Those uh, I feel like have a lot more in terms of the, their overall stories, a more consistency. Whereas to Zombie, Zom One Hundred, like it feels like one where the fun can peter out real quick because. I mean, of course, there is a gig where the guy, he's literally sa just this young salary man, just wants to do, just wants to get everything. I like the direct, I do like all the du directing, the way to just kind of do the scene transitions. That's great. That elevates. That's what anime should do. That's what any good anime adaptation should do. But, and it, it's really nice to see, like, see, like, it, it took freaking a, 
a whole ass apocalypse to get to to get this guy to make this guy's world light up because like he thought he was going to have the time of his life he gets exploited he, he's suffering also you know, he's suffering just when he thinks he gets a uh, you know some relief turns out that the girl he was after was just a fucking was a f fucking j like i didn't want to i didn't want to say it. she was a f she was a hoe <laughs> Um, man, I, so yeah, it was just, so I, like, I, I'm not going to say that it's just, I don't, I like, I know I'm not in a position to say things when it comes to a job, but I have to feel like when you're getting exploited for, for a job, in a job like that, you know, you kind of have to try to look through. You know, and this is this is the problem with uh, the work, a work culture like Japan, where they get where young people get employed too early, right out, on like literally right out of graduation, and they barely know much. So, and that's when they can get really taken advantage of. This is what I don't like about like the these sort of um, companies, these industries. Not just in again, just in Japan, just in Asia, anywhere, anywhere. There's a lot more in America than you think. I mean, we 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 get a we get a layoff because we get more we get more natural we get higher a higher paycheck naturally because the value of the value that you know our currency value is a lot more is, is like exponentially higher. It doesn't mean we are we're under debt or we're, we're not in debt as a nation, but I'll digress. That's not a that's not something I want to dive into. That's for an expert. But yeah, this but yeah, this guy Tendo uh, Akira, we'll call him Akira. He got and that's where his adventure starts off. He is literally free now. The fact that it took an apocalypse to 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 have him free now he's on this adventure. It just like it's not just the same old rinse repeat rinse repeat sort of li lifestyle. That feels bleak, monotone, just nothing. Like you literally see, and I hope the and I hope the copyright don't cl clap with this. You literally see how um, his world, like from from the start, it looks bright, but as it goes on, you can clearly see how the colors start to really just gr turn grayish, gradually, gradually. At times it lights back up, but then you know. It starts to slowly, slowly. You see, in the words of like a filter in there, slowly starts to lose color, and then all of a sudden it's just black. It's just gray. But then, but then, the moment he comes upon a zombie, that's when colors start to come back. And that's when it. That's when it starts to end. The, 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 the geez, the actions. So, the animation on that one, which really popped off. I actually do like how they mix the CG as well. And they also had to have that sort of first-person perspective. We get is as if we were in his shoes. That's what I like too. And then when it finally just his his color returns to his eyes, his his life, the world around him, and all of a sudden he feels like we're very elated. Yes, even though that the 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 woman that he that he has a fondness for, that he kind of likes. Uh, I like this part too. It's kind of it's it's corny. Let's get it. Uh, let, let's not let's not go about it. But I do kind of like how it's presented. It's it's like it's kind of like in, in his way, just kind of setting in a way, just kind of setting himself, you know, free from it. <laughs> the funny thing, how like that boss got what that manager got what he deserved, basically. Again, the again the scene transitioning and all like the smears and all like, those are great. And yeah, the, like I said, the rugby, the rugby, his his past rugby experience actually did help. I like, I like these sort of uh, splash effects here. It, it, it's fun to see. Anyways, and yeah, he he finds out that the woman he likes his co the co coworker that he likes has lost turned his arm as well. But you know what? One last confession, at least like. Whatever, whatever you may not, it may fall on deaf ears, but at least you know, let it out. You know, just let it out. So he does that, and what does he do next? He 
comp contemplates on like, oh, we we I might not be live next tomorrow. I might not be I might be lit. I might not die until like sixty of several decades later, but because they're not in a is not the this the society that this show is set in is no longer just on just on a hamster wheel. It's loose. Everything is unpredictable at this point. No, from how it seems. I'm not going to speak about the source material itself. But I do feel... I do feel like... That's where he... That's where he can get the most out of his... The rest of his life. Mm, you know. Considering that they don't seem to... At this point, there doesn't seem to be any solution to this whole zombie thing. It just kind of showed up. Although, you kind of also think about how they got infected. Because when a zombie gets infected, like they start to bleed... Mm, they start, to, they start to have multiple colors. I don't know if that's a metaphorical thing, the way they showed it, but there's something about how the zombies just kind of... I know it's spread through the usual shebang, based on what I see, but... Yeah. Um, maybe there's a hint where that infection or whatever was set it off was um, hinted at later on. But it also makes you think back to what he was initially just passively wishing for. Now, I mean, this is just, uh, no, the, uh, I don't think Pusher the Monk didn't even get, get that, that part, but it's a, it's, it's kind of, it does make me wonder if he himself wished for that apocalypse to happen and some, and whatever, some god, whatever, just happened to, he happened to, happened to, Hear, hear his plead, and we uh, led to this. And who knows what happens from there? And so, what does he do next? He gets out a bucket list of things to do. You know, with that bucket list we have, says, "Oh, let's let's go to Sea World. Oh, let's go to uh, Disneyland. Let's go, let's go to the, let's go to Grand Canyon. Let's go uh, have our first um." Uh, have our first try at sticky tofu, or have our first, have our first, uh, tri have our first round round trip to Japan, China, whatever, or like um, have our first cruise, or some anything, anything that he wants, anything that he want that he always wanted to do prior to. So yeah, that's how things start. That's all I'm going to say here. So before I get keep getting interrupted by whatever from the back. I'll just go lay it off you. Smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this premiere. How you feel like this gonna, show's gonna go down. Like, how do you feel about, like, is it the best premiere in the in the season? I personally don't think so, but it's pretty good. It, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty, I mean, pretty good. Like, I, I, it's impressive by all the means, but it's not like it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't have me ripped in. As much as it does with, you know, uh, Oshino Ko and Jujutsu Kaisen, but it's still entertaining. The, the biggest thing for me to worry about nowadays, as someone who's watched a lot for better or worse, is that it just depends on can it maintain that? I feel like can it maintain that? A lot of people say Oshino Ko, like, fall off, but it's just more like a setup. This is not the same thing. This is more like a hook. The big, the big, big hook. And that, but it is easily a format that can go dry, that can again, that where the tailwind can you know, can peter out as quickly as it came, depending on how they handle the story. Like we don't want another, I don't want another high school the you know high school the dead thing going on here, or any zombie anime that really just most zombie and most zombie apocalypse animes I've seen just fall fucking flat. Anyways, that's about it, though. So, smash like button. Uh, but yeah, follow us on my Twitter, join the Discord server, share the video around, all that good stuff. Real station signing off, y'all. See you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Have a great day. Peace.